Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and I was going to get my video done earlier but then my wayward sister called me and so here I am doing my video a little bit later. Now, I did work on this a little bit. I did put this vellum pocket here. Um, I glued it but I also did the invisible stapler on it. I did add a little bit of stitching here just with some navy blue. Uh, let's see. It does take a bit of time because you've got to think about it. Oopsie, I haven't done anything else there. I did this. I put this, um, I used the alcohol markers there. I added a little piece of scrap paper here in the rows and I still want to do more there. I think that's all I got done because then I had to talk to my sister. So let's see, let's make something to go into this pocket. Um, I thought I'd make a tag. And I thought I might make the tag um, maybe using a piece of blue paper. Let me just see here. Is that going to be too wide? That's too wide, so we'll trim off that bit there, but I need to glue it down better. Oh, well, that'll be all right. Now we're just going to use a piece of blue paper and... I'm going to be a bit inspired by my mum when she did her antique document journal. So I wanted to do like a document sort of lay, uh, what am I saying? Not lace, a uh, document tag. I'm just going to trim this bit off here. It's going to be too wide. It's going to be totally covered. This is just my base, but I just want to get rid of my extra bits that I don't need. Okay, because they're sticky. Right, now we're going to grab probably some original documents and papers, like, you know, book pages. I just want to see if I've got anything flying around there. I put everything on the floor. Okay, so let's just pick it up. I'm in a total mess, total state of disarray I am. Okay, so what do we have here? That's well, that's a little card. I'm going to put that in the pocket. It's original. I don't know what it came from. That's a little letter. I might make, create a space for that. Look at this. We might use a bit of this. Uh, oh, 1919, yes. No, 1919, we had established that, hadn't we? So... I th oh, they're all like the different, you know, formulas. Chemistry. Is it chemistry or physics? Don't know. <laughs> I don't, my mind doesn't go back that far. Do you think it's terrible? I'm going to rip it. Just going to rip right into it and I'm going to glue that here. Here. I'm going to wrap it around. Yes, I am. I've done it. I'm not going to sit there and read all of that and study it, so I might as well just use it. Right. I hope I put my, pla my, my plane. I hope I put my phone on airplane mode. Not my plane, my phone. Just fold that over. Okay, put that there. And what else will we have? Let's move the book out of the way. Um, put a piece. Of, oh, what about if we put a piece of that down there? Well, I'll tear it a bit wider and then I'll wrap it around. And then I have to collage on the other side as well. Now, my sister was very impressed with the fluoro. She said she watched the video and she's very impressed with the fluoro and she loves the red and pink. So there we go. I have her stamp of approval. I like the way that is transparent. You can see what's underneath. I might as well trim that off. That's not sticking down, so we'll get rid of it. Um, 
Mm, I like that. It's going to go everywhere, I can tell you. We've got a bit of writing in here that we can use. This is vintage. Let's see. Or do we just want to back it with a plain paper? Maybe a plain paper. And Oh, I did see something that excited me here. Look. Look at that. Let's get that out. Can I get it out? I'm going to glue that on somewhere here. <gasps> Love that. Because it's brittle, I don't want any sticky paper anywhere near it. I need to carefully glue it in place. Oh, yes, I love that. Okay. Really cool. And on this side, I might put something, you know, some sort of writable vintage paper. Here we go. We'll put that on there. Like so. Let's, oh gosh, don't have a tear ruler in sight. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to, I don't want to cut it, I want to rip it. There it is, I found it, I found it, I found it. It's like a mountain of things, a mountain. Tear that off. And... So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. I hope you had a lovely weekend, a lovely Mother's Day, and uh, everything is good. We're all good here. Let me take that little piece off. Okay. Oh. Right. Just admiring the handiwork. Okay, now what do we want to put on there? Do we want a butterfly? Oh, not a butterfly, they're birds. They're not butterflies, birds. Do we want a bird or do we want... Well, we do have a, a flower over there, so we could have a bird. No, not that bird. I might like that bird. I think I might have one of those already cut out. I thought I did. I may or may not. No, I think I used it. I did use it. There's one. I did have one. Do I want that bird? Put it up that way. I'd have to chop off the tail a little bit. Or do I just want to leave it plain? I don't know. I did cut out a few things. Just let me see what I've got. Oh, I've got that beautiful bird. Oh, I like that one. But I'd have to cut off his tail. No. Nope. I don't want to do that. I've got bits and pieces in here. I may reject everything. Just be ready for it because I'm in that sort of, I'm not quite sure sort of frame of mind. Oh, no, it covers up too much. Oh, I quite like that one. That doesn't cover up too much. Yes, that's it. Got it. Good. And then I'm going to go to my El Cheapo Fluoro Paints. You're probably thinking don't do it, but I am. I love that. I'm going to go to the El Cheapo Fluoro Paints. I'm just going to grab the brush. It's a really cheap, stiff, gross brush. But they don't even come out of this thing. They just sit there. And I'm going to grab this colour. And I'll just do some, some blobs.
There we go. And I haven't covered up too much of the lovely background. We'll let that dry and then we'll finish it off. We'll move on to the next thing. And what I'm going to do, I don't have any water here, so I'm just going to grab my wet one. I mean, it's not a good brush anyway, so I don't really care about it. It's a terrible brush, actually. It's nylon and it's really stiff, but it's actually probably good for mark making because you can. it does messy marks. I'm just going to give it a wipe off with the wipe. wet one and just put it there for the next colour. So I'm just going to put that aside for a second and let that dry. And then we'll do our snipping and finish it off and put it where it's supposed to go. Right. Then I'm not sure yet on these pages. Now let me just see here. Let's move these away. I did have this here. I thought on this page I might create a belly band. And this is just from the spine of a book. It fell out. And I thought I might put that there as a belly band and then put something on it. So let's put some... I'll actually I'll just trim off what I don't need. Let's put it, oh, it's too long anyway, so just a minute. Put this up there. Trim off that bit. And then I have to trim the whole thing again because it's too long for my page. And I wasn't going to put my glue on here. I was going to put my glue on here because it's a little bit narrower. And it was from the inside of a spine. When you take out the, the pages, this um, was in the actual sort of inserted into the interior part of the leather spine. They've always got paper in them, or normally they do. And it just came out in one piece, so I kept it. And I've been looking for a home for it for a really long time, so this is really great. I did put it onto the vintage piece of paper just to reinforce it. That'll do. And we're going to grab some, where is it? Tombow glue. And then I'll be able to put something in there. So I'll let that dry. Just slip that in there. Might slide it over just a little bit. Because that was just a, a, you know, not such an exciting piece of paper. So let's let that dry a second. I want to actually put something on there. Let's see. Oh, I was thinking maybe this. I might fussy cut that out. Let's do a little fussy cut. Just close that. Remember, I did these, I don't know, on what day of the 100-day project when I was doing the mark making. Okay, put that there. I've gone quiet. Oops. And I am going to glue that on there. Now, I did want, I think, maybe a little bit of script. Oh, here's a good piece. I think I might put a bit of no, that just sort of blends it in too much. It needs to be down there, I think, and that's too big. Put that there. And then we'll glue this there. Yep. And what glue am I going to use? I will use my Giotto glue. See how we go. Okay. 
Hopefully I got glue everywhere. I certainly got glue all over on the wrong side of the thing. Stick that on there. Now where's my little card? It has to be here somewhere. See? Always takes a minute to sort of take hold the vellum. If it doesn't, I'll use the other the other glues. Okay. Right, and I want to put something up here. Ooh, I even like that. And I was wondering if I might like or a bit of the pale blue, but or maybe I might like a little bit of orange on there. No, a little bit. Just take this off. That little bit. That's it. It's going to stick to my paper there. That's my little belly band. We'll let that dry. I may need to slip a bit of glue under the the leafy thing. And I'm wondering then, no, I don't think I want to do anything else, do I? Oh, here I do. Here I wanted to put a little bit of something else just to give it a pop, but I think I might take this. No, not this. If I do the paint or that, then I have to, if I, let's do this. Oh, love it. I was showing my sister. She thinks she might be able to get these. Oh, what did you say, Sarah? Spotlight or something in Australia? They're really cool. They're gesso paint pens. That's it. So maybe I'll blot that. I might decide to come back and put a few stitches here and there. Or I might come and put some lace. See, I'm just going to blot that off so we can... I could put a piece of paper in between, couldn't I? I might even just put that there. Okay. I love that. Does that need anything else? I don't know. So we've got to go back here. Oh, let's see if this is dry. Not quite. But anyway, I will snip my corners. And I'm probably going to punch the thing that's going to slide in there. And I might put a label. I don't know. I have to have a think about that. So let's let that one still dry. So that's those pages done. That's that bit. Now we need to put something in here. I thought we'd put this in there. And... We could put a little something on it, something little. Um, where is my other one? Yeah. I might put, I love this little rose. I'm going to put that little rose on there. Do I have a smaller one? I know I cut out two. No, they're both the same. Or I could put this little butterfly one on there. No, I think I'll put the rose. And you know me, I like mixing it up. 
all the styles. And that little random piece of ephemera is going to slip in that belly band. That is the, the aim. It's going to slide in. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Okay, so that's that. Then let's just come over here. I might leave that. I'm not sure. I might add a little something. Quite like that there. down there no I think I like it up there but anyway I'm going to think about that I'm not going to rush into it and then we've got this page which has the flower I might leave that page might get a little bit of something on it but not too much quite like that I think I'm gonna put that there but do I want to put a little bit of something special behind it No, I don't. Put that down there. No, not that spit dull, that one. I'm going to put the, um, looks a bit like a galah to me, or a pink cockatoo. Oh, look at all the glue I got everywhere. That is no good. Okay, and oh, I love this. This is like one of my favorites. I was saying about the tissue paper yesterday, I just love it. And I don't know if these pages are finished. I'm just putting things down. I mean, look how many pages there still are to do. There's so much to do. Here I thought I would finish this in this video, but I don't think so. I'm not even going to be near it because I'm feeling a bit slow today. Um, so I want to get that in, but I think it might still be wet. Yes, it is. We have to let that dry. Okay. Um, oh, I wanted to do a little thing here. I've got these... I had this lovely 1700s piece of paper and I thought I would do something a little bit like Leslie. Um, I was going to make that into a leaf, but we'll just leave it. And then I had this piece. I thought I might put them together like Leslie does. She does that with her cute little pieces. Um, I think I put them... I might have a little pop of this shooting out from behind, excuse me. Yep, I'm just going to put this little thing together. So I need my, I can't think of anything's name. I need to grab, just a second, I need to grab the brads. Okay, let's grab those. Oops, oh, I'm so sorry, that's terrible. This. I think I need to do, we established the little punch, the little hole was a good one for those. Does that go through the fabric? I think so. Kind of. Let's see if I can poke it through. Yes! It did work. I think that's really cute. And that idea comes from comes from Leslie from 507. I nearly said 501 Willow House. Willow House. Anyway, I, I did link her, I did link Leslie and Rhonda P in the previous video, and I added a comment to my first video um, where um, I had their links. There you go. I'm trying to think of words. Now I've got to find a spot to put this because I want to include it. 
I could just, instead of decorating this page, because I kind of like it just plain, I think I'm just going to grab, now, oh, I wonder where they are. Now, I was also given lovely paper clips, and they are not here. Where are they? Let me think. The little Tim Holtz paper clips I have somewhere. Do I have one in here? No. I've got this big paper clip. That's too big, I think. I don't want it that big. Just a sec. Hmm. Nope. Are they in here? I've got beads. Excuse me while I look for my paper clips. I'll just excuse myself. No. Your buttons. I didn't know I put them in there. Oh, I never used them because I never knew I had, knew where they were. Great. And I am just going to clip that on this page. And that's what it's just going to sit there. Okay, cool. Sorry, guys. That took a minute, didn't it? I like that. And that's going to have that. And I could slip something. I had some, pulled out something else I wanted to put those down on the floor. Everything goes on the floor and then I can't get out of the room. Because it's just messy. Oh, I know. I wanted to um, include one of these. Isn't that lovely? So I know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to hold it like that. And like that. That way. That could really slip in there, couldn't it? Maybe I'll do some some other tuck. Well, that's maybe I'll put it in there and I'll put that tag somewhere else. Let's have a look. That is really pretty. I think I'll put that there. Put that there. Do I want to put something on this pocket? No, I think I'll just leave that. Put that there. Does this go on there? Totally different style, but do we care? Don't mind that. Mm. I like that. I'm going to do it. That there. I love that. Okay, so that's that. That's that one. We need to have something here. Now here, I absolutely love this. I could put something like that there kind of like a tab sticking out I think that'd be pretty and I had pulled out a bird that I liked with it and I could make it like a little tuck put the little bird there and then that could be a tuck I quite like all that oh, I think that looks really nice so what I need to do with this is because it's white I'm just going to I'll just glue some of this paper on it this is just vintage paper I'm just going to glue that on the back so if I just put a bit of glue on here, I'm all sticky everywhere. I'm a bit of a mess today, guys. You're getting a bit of messy crafting in the sense that I'm a little bit all over the place, a little bit unsure of myself today, I think. Not quite sure what I'm wanting to do. Oh, I can hear the postman little motorbike. I don't think I'm expecting anything, but you never know. So then... And the good thing about doing it with the vintage paper is um, if it peekaboos out, it doesn't really matter.
Okay. I'm going to make more of those fun little Leslie clusters. I'm going to call them Leslie clusters. I'm actually just going to glue this right across there because I can feel... Oh, no. Not too bad. It does need to... Let's just remove this. I need to glue it there. So I'm going to use my Tombow glue. Now, where is it? I don't want it to stick out too far. So I guess I can eyeball it about here. Run my glue along there, down the sides here and there, because it's going to be a little side tuck. I'd love it if I could find just a little um, real piece of vintage ephemera to tuck in there. I think that would be good. Let's see. How's that? It's looking all right. A little bit wobbly. Till it dries let me just wipe off the excess glue I might just do that so it's not such a tight pocket and I need to glue my birdie one of my favorite birdies I never have that birdie available because I always use it it's a very um, <laughs> that's not the correct glue it's a very eclectic kind of thing, isn't it? It's got all, all a mix of goodies in it. And I'm not covering up all the stitching, which I like. I've got this nice little tuck. So let's find something that will go in. And I love all the colours, how they're working. I'm going to grab... I'm doing, going to do it. Grab my little marker and do my little dashes. I just feel like it gives it a little pop. Maybe even come onto here. Yeah, like that. Okay, so that has to dry, and we need to find something to go in there. So while that's mucking around drying. Let's just see here. For example, I could rip something like that and put it in there. We've already got the promissory note. How cool is this? Look, I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of transparent paper. I'd like to slip that in there somewhere. I might fold this while that's drying. Get totally distracted. So how do they fold them? They fold them. I want that to fit in there. So I don't want it to be too wide. Just putting in fun things to play with. So too wide. This is what I do. I have to always refold things multiple times till I get it right. And then I saw they get they're folded like this. I could just fold it like that, but I've, I just wanted to show you some of the antique documents. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but they fold them like this, and then they slip them in there. It's very fiddly business. I don't know how they did it, but they slide in there, and you've got to be careful when you get them because otherwise it's quite easy to rip them because they've been tucked in like that here we go I like that put something on there so I was thinking that can slide in behind this one I'm just going to slide that in there it's a bit crooked but doesn't matter okay we'll let this one dry let me just blot it oh no I've got to find something for it don't I Definitely needs a good old blot. Okay. So let's find something to put in there. I want something small. This old letter. Really going to town in this little thing. It's going to be full of treasures. Look at this old letter. Now, if I were to fold that... No, it's going to be too big. I would have to fold it like this. And then... 
I do that. Would it fit? It would fit. Okay. Now, to hold it shut. Now, is that going to fit in there? It's just going to. Oh, it depends where I put my glue. I don't know if it's going to fit. If it doesn't, I'll put it somewhere else. What I wanted to do. Oh, just a minute. We can put our paper clip back on there. Let's do that before we forget. Put the paper clip back on there. that okay I need to let the glue dry if it doesn't fit in there I'll put it somewhere else but what I want to do is put like a little belly band around it so I could I could take a piece of that letter but that's script on script isn't it I let's see what's what scraps I've got in my scrap box fabric <sighs> What a mess, what a mess, what a mess. Got that. Oh, lots of, look, lots of scraps. Strippy scraps, I want to say. Oh, I like this. I like this little pop of colour. <laughs> Will that fit around? Let's see. I could put it like this, because I want the pop of colour. And it does, oh, oh, just... Okay, do you know what I'm going to do? I told you I have to fold things multiple times before I get it right. And that way it should fit. And I'm going to put this on here like that. I love that. And I've done some crooked crooked folding there and glue it shut with that is that terrible probably is terrible or glue it shut with where's the other one I like the yellow I'm going to glue it shut with the yellow this is a license to, to do whatever you want that, that that's it and that will just slide off and it will open and it's going to tuck in there. So let's see how we're going. Getting there. So it's getting bulky. That. No. I like it on there. <laughs> okay, that's going to slide in there, I hope. If not, as I said, it will go somewhere else and we'll find something else. That's that page. Does it need anything else? I don't think so. We're just going to leave that there. And then on this page, we've done that and it's all, all dry now. Oh, I like that. I'm going to add that there. That way. So it's just layer upon layer. Now, there might be some... Now, I did have some lace here. Let's just see if I wanted to add. Not on those pages. Mm, quite like it over there. Or quite like it there. I think I might put it there. I'm going to glue that script down and then I'm going to glue the lace on it. And I'm not going to do any more to that page because I think that's enough. Okay, so when you see, look at that. Oh, I like that. Okay, good. But we need to do something here. And, oh, I think I might make a pocket. Oh, I think that's really pretty on that page. Now, I did want to do this on this one. Love that. 
and that's going to go in a pocket. Now I think I could do a vellum pocket again or I don't think I want I don't want look I'm going to be covering all of that up so I think I will do a vellum pocket again. But the question is what? Stripey. Oh, I like that. Okay, so the thing about my pocket is I need to trim it. There, because I've got my circle there. That's a fun pocket that nobody else has because I drew it. Now I need to put a piece of paper on here. I'll do my snip. Yep, I'm liking the vellum pockets in this thing because I don't want to cover up all the nice papers like 100%. And that's going to be good. That's going to go there. So we'll grab this glue. And I'll put some, you know, photographs at the end so you can see what was done today. So it is nice to have photographs at the end. So mostly just using vintage -y sort of things. There's some um, a few um, very old book pages here. If you don't have, dig I mean, these are all original papers. A lot of it's original papers. It's just a few scraps of digital here and there. And then, of course, I'm decorating a bit with digital. But if you don't have digital, you can use um, you can use real stuff. So that's that, and that's going to slide in there. But I shouldn't put it in until I just want to show you that's going to go in there like that. But it, I'm just going to wait for that to dry. And I'm going to put that there. I am. I've gone fluoro mad. Okay. So those are going to go together. And then I just have to do this page. Oh, and no, I've got quite a few pages still to do. Oh, well... I can finish it off camera or on camera. You guys let me know in the comments if you want me to work on it another day. I'm going to add that there. I am. Um, let, me, let me know if you want me to work on it another day or I'll just do put some photographs of what I did on Instagram because it needs another session. I don't think that's dry enough yet. That's going to slide in. I was going to slide it in the other way. If it fits. Oh, this is this little bit here is getting caught. Let's just tuck that in. It might be borderline. That's it. It's in. Does cover up the bird, so I might change my mind and put something else there smaller. I might make a little journal card. I love that, that's good. It's going to go in a pocket here somewhere. In a pocket here somewhere. Put something there. Or, it's stuck down well, here. That's where that one's going to go. So I need to create a pocket, and then I still need to continue on here and here so let me know if you want me to continue and do more um, on camera otherwise I will finish it off off camera and um, and then as I said share some photographs so thank you so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow bye